Hello and welcome back to SN Tutors. So last time we talked about acetal formation. Now we're going to do acetal hydrolysis, which essentially is the um, reverse reaction. Okay, there's an I right there. Okay, cool. So we'll start off with what our product was last time, which is the acetal right here. And what we're doing, if you treat it with acid, just like last time, H2SO4. This time we also have water, H2O. And so we end up with oops, the ketone. Back to where we started last time. So how does this happen? Well, essentially the water is there and you need water for this reaction because this oxygen right here comes from the oxygen of water. Okay, so here's what happens. What we have is uh, acid, right? Acidic conditions. So the first thing that you do is you protonate, always. And remember, you can't have any negative charges, negative leaving groups. So you gotta make sure it's protonated before it leaves. So we gotta have positive charges because it's an acidic environment. Okay, here we go. Now we have this protonated oxygen right here, which does an SN1 type reaction, just like last time with this assisted ionization showing the best resonance form. So now we have this resonance stabilized carbocation right here. Here's our, what just left, the leaving group. And now this is uh, reactive, reactive enough to accept the weak nucleophile, which is water in this case. So water comes in, kicks these electrons up to that oxygen. Now we have a positive charge on the oxygen from the water, which was the nucleophile in the last step. <clears throat> Okay, so there's our positive charge. So now we gotta use the base, generic base, to neutralize this oxygen right here. It's important because this is the oxygen of the final product right here, is this oxygen right here. And you'll see where I'm going with this in just a second. Okay, so now we have the OH. So now what we want to do is we want to protonate this to get it to leave, right? Because there's only one oxygen attached to the final product. Okay, so right here we have the hemiacetal. And protonate it. So now this is going to be the leaving group and we do the assisted ionization SN1 type reaction, except it's not exactly SN1 because nothing is coming in after that. I'll show you in a second. But it is the assisted ionization. But it's different than when the first leaving group leaves because there's no nucleophile. What you end up with is you end up with a protonated carbonyl, and all you do is deprotonate it. So essentially, our final product here is the ketone. So there we go, that's our final product. And remember that this reaction can only take place when you have water present. So that's acetal hydrolysis. Thank you for watching and please let me know in the comments if you have any questions.